Okay, we're going to be looking at Nogiri, uh, or Nogiri, whatever. <laughs> we're going to be looking at this guy, uh, and uh, giving him some advice, trying to help him out. He's going for the four-star Moss before every other hero build, because healers are OP, totally, totally OP. If you could always be alive, you can always win. He might want to eventually enhance a piece of equipment, though. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it looks like Dev's going to be coming up next. I'm uh, just going to take a quick look at you. Um, good three stars. Probably going to want to bring Mu up. Uh, just want to talk about a couple really kind of fundamental like um, combinations that you can have. You're going with Moss. So Moss and Jack uh, work great together. Um, Mu and Jack work better together because Mu can stun lock the boss so Jack doesn't even need sustain. Also in times where the boss can out damage Jack's heal, which isn't very often, but depending on how strong your Jack is, it could be. Um, <coughs> uh, Mu can um, lower the defense with the stun, buy you some time, also heal uh, a Jack up for you. So uh, Mu can do um, area damage while she heals. She can't heal herself, which is the only downside. Uh, but you could always just use a Lord skill to heal at, at the end of the day anyway. Uh, if you're going to be going with Moss uh, and Jack, that's a great combination. But what you're going to find is with Moss, you really don't have all that much control uh, of the map. You basically sacrifice areas that you can control on the map uh, by being able to kill minions for having the ability to heal yourself up a little bit. So it kind of trades off a bit because you're not going to kill as many guys and you're going to have more things attacking you and then you're going to have to heal anyway. So I do prefer Mu over Moss just because she can attack and heal at the same time uh, and her attack and heal at the same time also raises her crit rate by an obscene amount. Uh, so you got Carrot stuck right in the back back here. Uh, Carrot's really good, um, very underrated hero. Everybody thinks that she just goes boom and kills you, but uh, she's got a lot of great utility. Uh, if you're going for uh, a heavy, heavy rock uh, team, um, there's nothing wrong with Momo, Rage, or Jack. Um, Jack especially, because he's very necessary for uh, any free-to-play player in PvE. But you don't want to have three rocks a, a paper and a scissor. Uh, I see you're racing Dolores. <coughs> I hope this is a joke where you just did it so you can get his passive skill and you're racing that first. No, you're not. Okay, looks like you're pretty damn invested in Dolores right now. Um, probably want to change that. Dolores is really actually not going to be good. He's not life, he's not love. He's not some hidden little treasure. He's literally just a little bit of extra gold. <coughs> anyway, um, let's see. Looking over uh, Jenny and Chris um, and Carrot are all very adequate paper heroes. Uh, Moo's an amazing paper hero. Uh, Moo's going to be really good for you for PvP uh, and PvE, uh, and so is Carrot. Uh, Jenny's good for PvP and PvE, it's just she's a lot better in PvP where movement isn't such um, an important thing. Uh, generally you can, in your formation, pick good ideal places for Jenny to be, like in slot 1 she's very good. Whereas on a PvE map, maybe it's you're trying to get SS rank and she's just not even going to get to the boss in that period of time, let alone kill everything on the map. Um, this game's pretty unfair against uh, healers. Uh, that's the only reason I really am not a big fan of Moss. I am raising Moss, but I'm raising him for tower, personally. Uh, I don't think he's going to be ever super necessary outside of the tower. Uh, there's just too many other better options that you have uh, instead of him that do other things. Moz just really heals. He buffs attack for his allies by a very small amount, but not the amount that takes away from another character being able to use really strong skills. 
Um, if you're looking for PvP uh, formation uh, ideas, then you probably want to go with uh, Rage, Debra, and then either Ki or sorry, Rage, uh, Chris. Sorry, I don't know why the C's are messing me up. Rage, Carrot, uh, Debra, and then Jack. Uh, you might also want to consider putting uh, Rage in the second slot, Jenny in the first slot, and Carrot. Uh, sorry, and Debra still in the third slot. Um, you could even put a Moo in there. I find Moo is very useful in one slot, two slot, or three slot. Uh, three slot, she's generally going to be more useful than first slot. But you're going to have a lot of times with Moo where her being in the first slot is, is going to be really nice. If you're on the bridge map, you're going to be running into Jax all day long. You can go up there, you can't reach Jack right away on turn one, but you can use your third skill to bump up your uh, crit rate, and then the next turn you can hit him with a 100% stun rate. Uh, and even if he has stun immunity, you smack him with a huge crit. So, it, like, she, she kind of opens up well, and she does well in PvP in slot one. I think Rage would be a better slot one, it's just he would run into more uh, rock, and, uh, rock heroes than scissor heroes, uh, is the, the only downside. Um... Or even Paper Heroes, if people are running Chris as a tank and, and PvP. Uh, but for PvE, that you probably want to get yourself for the Serendi uh, maxed out in skills as fast as you can. Uh, which it doesn't look like, like you started, but let's just hope that uh, you really need a lot of, of genes just to get the first skill to level 2, of course. <laughs> Uh, but Serendi is pretty damn amazing. Uh, what you're going to find is um, heroes that, uh, that are really, really hard to attain are generally bosses that are very hard to beat for the first time, uh, like Cleo, for example. And you're going to want to have uh, some utility in your team that can deal with debuffs so you can save your heroes. Serendi, uh, in the first or second slot on your PvE team, is really, really, really useful. And the only ones that should really be going ahead of Serendi are people that are going to be generally so far back that they're not going to ever get um, statused by a boss. Uh, somebody like Carrot would be a good first slot. Uh, Rage is an okay first slot, but he's more for a PvP build. He's not super PvE uh, good. Uh, Sonic Boom's okay. Uh, he's kind of gimmicky. Um, instant Death is really never going to be influential or impactful in any great situation because every boss is immune to Instant Death. And bosses are the only thing that anyone's ever going to have trouble with. No one's going to think to themselves, Oh man, if only I could have got instant death on that single minion. Oh man. Uh, in PvP, uh, he's just really not worth it. 7.5% chance is just not good enough. Okay. Let's see. Um, I couldn't help but notice... Uh, that you're not really going to like your heroes that you've that I'm seeing over on the far side the most are more well, what's the best way to say this you don't really have good coverage uh, and crowd control um, with these heroes uh, not in a like a really efficient way the thing is you have you have all these heroes here with three movement. Oh, sorry. Rage has, I thought Rage had three movement for some reason. He has four. Three movement, three movement, three movement. What's Dolores to see? Yo, he's three movement. I thought he would be four or five at least. Three movement, Jack's five. <clears throat> so you have all these really low movement heroes, and movement is an extremely important stat uh, to have uh, to make sure you're uh, in PvE especially, because it's going to allow you to get good positioning on your heroes. Uh, four uh, movement is great. Uh, five movement is obviously ideal. A uh, Deb can get five movement if she gets a kill on something, but generally she's going to need people to soften something up. Like Deb, Deb, uh, Deb works really good in a third or fourth slot on your uh, PvE uh, team. Uh, generally, just before Jack is is really good for her. Jack uh, going last would be uh, ideal because he has the tank. Um, you, you're going to want to be able to have him being taking the hits, and then if he gets hit by debuffs and things like that, you're going to want to have uh, maybe Serendi or Moss or whatever. Somebody do something to him to make him uh, healthy again before he gets his turn. Uh, Momo has great coverage and area, but Carrot is just so much more useful. Like, Momo... Momo can use his second skill here to increase his own attack. That's cool. 
His third skill hurts himself, uh, but it does enough so much damage that him increasing his attack is not going to meet the damage difference uh, from the two attacks. I, I believe it's actually still better to use the third skill two times than it is to use the second and the third skill. Uh, also, you get a way better coverage for the area, but that's really all he does. He's got this great PvE skill that increases his crit rate by every time uh, uh, an enemy is eliminated. But with Carrot, Carrot's skills are more universally beneficial. Carrot skills, when she's going through the map, she's lowering everybody's attack, protecting your team, and doing crap ton of damage to a wide area. When you're getting to bosses, she's knocking away their crit rate uh, and uh, lowering their defense uh, by a pretty huge amount. And then when she's all out of mana, she can start using this to pick off the boss or whoever from a long range or just random minions throughout the map in the early stages if you're trying to save up just before uh, you get to the boss for your uh, third skill. Uh, she's a very versatile, very good hero. She's got the extra movement for form movement, uh, and she's a paper hero. Now, she's not a fast growth rate, <clears throat> So Momo will be easier to build, uh, but Carrot's going to be easier to skill up because Carrot doesn't need, like, has you can get more than 10 Carrot genes a day. <laughs> 10 uh, Ancient Coin genes a day is just not good enough. <coughs> With Mu, however, 10 Ancient Coins a day is absolutely alright. Um, because you really only need to really pump up her third skill at first. Uh, the stun is just going to be used basically as a stun. It doesn't scale damage-wise very well. Uh, it lowers attack and defense of the target, so Mu acting earlier is better uh, if you want to be super optimal about everything. Uh, but you could still find a run her in three or fourth slot, third or fourth slot. Uh, she does have an airy heal. Uh, I think that her best uh, position would probably actually be fourth slot because I think her area heal would be better positioned, uh, or for her to be uh, able to position herself better to heal the team and do damage in an area after everybody's moved and you sort of have a plan for where everybody's going. She also has 4 movement. I would really be uh, like to see them uh, give Mu just a slight buff and give her 5 movement. Um, but maybe one day you can get a piece of equipment that's going to give Mu an extra movement and you'll love it. Uh, but uh, you should probably raise your Mu up to uh, uh, to 3 or 4 stars and actually drop Moss for now. Um, I think you should bring Moss back when uh, you're challenging high levels in Tower seriously uh, in the... Uh, late 30s, early 40s, even up into the 50s. There might be some times and some combinations, depending on how good the gear actually gets on heroes, <clears throat> to use healers to give yourself invincible heroes against the dragon boss, for example. It's possible, you never know. <sighs> Which totally by then Nirvana hasn't come up, because Moss is not going to be useful at all when uh, Nirvana's out. Anyway, <coughs> that was the longest not sneeze I've ever had in my entire life. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that you should probably stick with Moz and Jack for now. Kind of phase Moz out as you can race Moo a little bit. Um, probably swap Rage out for Carrot, uh, and then once you've got a few 5 stars and you can farm Cuckoos effectively, get Gunner, uh, Gunner uh, Rage up to 5 stars as soon as you can. Um, Deb's going to be good all the time. Uh, she's good for PvE, she's good for PvP, uh, and uh, she scales well and she levels up fast. She'll probably be your very first character that you get to 5 star. Um, and you should kind of put some extra focus on her. Um, I would recommend that you get Kai at some point too and also raise Serendi but if you want to uh, focus Jack and level him up the fastest then you're gonna only want to be using Jack as a rock hero now I do think that is a bit of a mistake I think you should have a Serendi uh, in your team because Serendi can cure debuffs uh, and she has a huge charm rate like I think that a good team for you would be uh, Maz, Debra, uh, Carrot, uh, Serendi, and Jack. I think that would be a great team. That kind of covers all the bases of everything that you're going to need to do throughout the course of any PvE fight. Now, for PvP, I think that you'd be uh, best off with Rage, Debra, um, or uh, Rage, Carrot, uh, depending on w however you want to do things. Perhaps even Carrot in the first slot, though I 
feel that she uh, really excels in the uh, uh, the second slot. Um, uh, also, Serendi. Uh, Serendi's, again, best in second slot. Like, you have a lot of good heroes best in the second slot. Jenny would be fantastic in uh, PvP for the first slot, uh, and so would Rage, and Deb would be, uh, would be okay. Um, Jack can be your tank for PvP. Not everybody has to have a super amazing bear man. Uh, and Kai uh, would be a really good slot 3. Um, Rage could also be a double as a slot 3. Uh, he doesn't have to... Uh, in any BOH a PvP map, slot 3 is actually generally a safe place, depending on your slot 2, because you can usually draw the attack of the person in slot uh, 2 for their team over to attack your uh, second lane hero if you put your second lane hero all the way down. The only time they'll generally get attacked is if the, uh, the AI is going first. And... Um, then they're going to go, and your first character is going to go, and their second one's going to come and hit you. Uh, but normally you can, let's say you have uh, Rage in slot 3 and Carrot in slot 2. If you bring Carrot down uh, the bridge map, um, and you uh, fire at somebody with her third skill, then their second character will come out and will probably attack Carrot instead of going to attack your Rage. So the third, uh, and in... And, and, uh, In uh, PvP on the, the square map, you'll be able to use this skill right here uh, fairly uh, well, just like Kai's third skill. Uh, though this is going to be your go-to skill for sure. Uh, he would be an ideal, but he would be semi-safe. Uh, he's best as a slot one hero. Um, Kai is really the only amazing, uh, particularly good slot three hero that I can see that you got right now. But Deb can double into slot three because she generally has very high defense compared to other characters. So yeah, she's got <coughs> she's got twenty seven percent defense on you, and you're only a three star compared to let's say Rage. He's got twenty one. That's actually pretty good. I think his is high. Who? Let's pick a character with bad defense. Actually, you know what? Let's compare it to Chris, who's actually a tank. She's got twenty four defense. So your Deb has higher defense than your tank. Uh, anyway, I hope uh, you uh, find some of these suggestions helpful. Let me know uh, what you think uh, in the comments or in the chat in game.